Hi, so after logging into the Bolo Forms platform, you will be landing on this dashboard. Currently, as you can see, we haven't created any forms. And on the left hand side, there are various options to navigate the Bolo Forms dashboard. So you can click on create form button and you will have two options. Either you can create a blank form or what you can do is you can use any of the pre-existing templates that we have. For the sake of this video, I'm going to use the new deal template over here. You can change the form name, you can change the description and you can either connect this form to a Google spreadsheet, which means that all the responses that this form gets will be put in a Google spreadsheet. But for this demonstration, let us not attach a Google spreadsheet. Then you can click on create form and the form will be created. All the questions in this form are editable. So if you want to edit them, you can simply click over here and edit those. But I'm satisfied. So I'll click on save and the form has been saved. Now on the top side, there are various options to edit a workflow, to add collaborators, to embed this form or to preview this form. Let us first edit this workflow. After you click on edit workflow, you will be by default added in a single open stage and two closed stages. So what open stage means is whenever a form is submitted, it will automatically be allotted this open stage, which is the form is in progress. And after the form has either been approved or rejected, it will go to one of the closed stages that the form has been approved or rejected. So in the in progress state, you can have various approvers. I've added Bolo Forms help at the rate gmail.com as an approver. I can also add one more approver. I'll click on add static recipient. I'll click on this. I'll add. I Bolo Forms as the another approver. Then I can click on save. After clicking on save, you can click on close again. And this is a multi-level approval that I've set. Over here in the stage overview, you will be able to see that there is only one stage which is in progress and the first email ID is there. Then the second email ID is there, which are two level of approvers. Then there are two closed stages. So this gives you a comprehensive idea. Now let us fill the form. Let us go back to the dashboard and click on the preview form button. And click on submit after a person has submitted the form the first level of approver which is this bolo forms help at the rate gmail.com will receive an email also you can go to the dash as you can see this is the new deal form respondent email is this and all the details are present over here you can click on approve for the request to be approved so the request has been approved. Now let us check what happens in the another approver. So after the first approver has approved the email, it will go to the next approver, which was try Bolo Forms. They have also received an email and Bolo Forms help has already approved it. Let us click on approve and approve this request. Once this request has been approved, everything can be tracked inside the Bolo Forms dashboard. So let us go back to the home. So whenever you click on the logo, it will go to home. This is the form name. If you click on respondents view, overall status is approved. And you can see who all has approved it and what is the comment as well. The form response can be seen over here. So that is how you can use Bolo Forms dashboard to create a form, to have approval workflows and have everything inside the dashboard. Thanks a lot.